Hey guys, you know how sometimes you look at a lock and you go, ah, that's a piece of cake. I've opened a hundred of those before. And, well, that was what I, that was my reaction to these. These are Abus C83s, and they're from Kerinsky 77. They're key to like. This is the intact one. And then I'm going to pick this one. It's keyed identically. Um, the only reason is because if we get it picked, I'm going to go ahead and gut it. As I said, these C83s, I've picked a lot of these before. Let me move this junk out of the way. But none of them have ever given me the amount of trouble as what this one has. This one, i got to tell you, I don't know what's in it. I have not gutted it. Kerensky did pick it. Uh, he did put a sh uh, shot of some of the pins on, uh, on his video. But let's see if we can't get this thing. The first time took me about an hour. Second time took me a little over 20 minutes, so let's see if we can't get this done. It's only a five pinner. That's the amazing part. All right, here we go. I can tell you, I feel serrated pins in there for sure. I also feel some spools in there. So I'm picking it, you probably notice very lightly, as if it's all serrated because I think it is mostly serrated. Okay, I'm trying to get a fault set, and I'm just touching each pin, just as you would in a, an American padlock, which has all serrated pins. I got a little feedback there. Give him a click. Everybody in the back is still springy. Okay, a little feedback on pin three. There we go. We got our fault set. And now you think it gets easier, right? Nope. Click on two. A little feedback on one. Okay, we got one set. We got our fault set back. So things are looking up. Come on, pin four again. He doesn't quite want to go yet. Let's see if somebody else is ready first. Okay, pin two. Good feedback on two. Very delicate on these pins. If you're not careful, you'll if you if you get sloppy on the tensioning on these abuses, uh, you will drop more than one pin. Okay, I'm back on pin one. Okay, we, thank God we still have our fault set. Okay, pin five a little bit. A little bit of feedback. Okay, it feels like we got him. Pin one again. Still got our fault sets. We haven't blown it yet. That's a good sign. We're just doing this completely out of sequence. Pin two. See if I can get on him. These are pretty small pins. Come on. There we go. Thank God for a five pinner. This thing really puts up a fight. At least it wasn't 30 minutes. Okay, we're at like four and a half minutes. Let's go ahead and gut this thing. See exactly what Kerinsky has in here. I don't know if he repinned this. Uh, he told me that this is the way he got it. All right, so we need, let's see, we need Kerpisha's pliers.
Okay, I've got the follower, and let's line that up. So our top pins don't fall into that slot. All right, let's take a look at what we got here. Oh crap, we already dropped a spool out. I didn't quite push that far enough. And we definitely got some nastiness there. Here's another spool that fell out. It didn't quite... Well, here's exactly what happened is uh, the slot on the follower was lined up incorrectly. So it looks like I might have dropped out the first two. It looks like they were spools. Since they're both the same, it really doesn't matter, does it? All right, looks like I bent a spring. Another one of those spools. Oops, sorry, sorry about that. It's like a wild serrated. And another one of these wild looking spools, and that's, that should be it. All right, fellas, this is why this lock put up. If you look very closely here, let me get my pointer, or no, otherwise known as a screwdriver. It looks like three of the key pins were serrated. Uh, this one is machined down on the top to give you that false, false set and then of course it's going to seize up the cylinder and then completely serrated one here and another machine down on the top kind of that's really I don't know if, if I can get a close-up on that or not See if we can get our camera to focus so that's kind of angled there along that groove as well to grab a hold of that cylinder and then these serrated. First of all, we got one spool, and that is one serious spool. Very deep cuts on that. <clears throat> but in looking closely at these spool pins, they're not normal spool pins. Let me get this guy out of the way. It looks like it has a larger diameter here and a smaller diameter there to, again, grab into the. Uh, the shear line and give you a false set, but not quite have be clear. And this is, of course, is designed to grab it. So really cool looking spools. I would like to have some more like this to screw you guys when I send out some locks. Anyway, fellas, there you go. The Abus C83. I don't. Again, I don't know if this is Abus's new pinning scheme. I got to tell you, they have really upped their the quality of their locks and changed the game for all of us. We may have to take up, I don't know, needlepoint or crochet or something because these are rough locks. Even this lowly five pinner. So don't always judge a lock by how it looks. Anyway, fellas, thanks for your time. Everybody stay safe, stay legal. And Kerinsky77, sir, thank you for this very challenging C83 ABUS.